Welcome back again, brothers and sisters, to Spiritually Challenged. We're not here to save your soul. We're just here to save you a buck or two. Oh, that's taken, isn't it? Anywho, tonight... Now, it's going to be tough to not make comparisons to our first episode. Our first episode, of course, if you want to go back and watch it, there it is. It's uh, Not Your Father's Root Beer, which is phenomenal. It's, it's delicious. I go to 9.8 only because it was the first show. If it had been the 17th show, it probably would have got a 10. I like it that much. Since then, I would say it's dropped to a 9.5. I've had a lot of it. <laughs> not a ton of it, but enough that... Um, I'm a little tired of it, but it's really good. You should definitely try it. The packaging is definitely better than this. What is this? What do we have here tonight? Uh, tonight we have Coney Island hard root beer. Uh, here's the thing. The first thing I noticed when I was reading this, uh, <clears throat> step right up, uh, be amazed at your Madagascar vanilla. Behold the fragrant spices. Thrill your taste buds, bitches. No, it doesn't say bitches. This is only 5.8% alcohol versus the Not Your Fathers who is or uh which is <laughs> uh 5.9 uh and as you know and you learned on the last episode of spiritually challenged and i'm sure we'll learn some things as we go along tonight uh 5.9 is high because your average beer is about five percent anywho this looks fascinating to me uh the packaging is good I like the traditional classic packaging on the other one. If they were gonna go with the route of like Coney Island and making it, um, what am I trying to say? More like Carnival in a sense. They should have gone in a different direction with the packaging. This is nice. This actually, I would call this um, Palisades Park root beer, personally. I think it's got more of a, a West Coast feel to it, the colors and everything like that. Uh, but we're not here to talk about the packaging right now. We're going to talk about the flavor. We're going to talk about the smell. We're going to talk about uh, a lot of different things. Um, here's the thing. I don't see it on here. Maybe it's on the bottle. Here's the bottle. If you want to take a good little look at the bottle. Uh-huh. Yay, yay. I did not do this with the old one. Here's the cap, by the way, if you're wondering what the cap looks like. I do not know if these are twist off, but we will, of course, try the twist off method at first to see if it opens that way. Anywho, uh, on the bottle, <laughs> okay, what do we got here? I was looking at the store for the, uh, to see what percentage of alcohol it was, and I came across a few things. Coney Island Hard Root Beer is a new twist on an old favorite with hints of vanilla, licorice now that's what caught me i don't really think about licorice when i think about root beer uh i do think about vanilla i do think about birch um and i've had birch in the wild yes i have <laughs> found it by accident actually that's another story altogether the licorice was what stopped me from buying this the other night i was going to get it because uh we had a going away party for a friend of ours who appeared on the road to 40 uh, uh nick castanis he's going to scotland for a few years and we're gonna miss him so we threw him a party and i was gonna get this um but instead i went with the old classic because i wanted people to the old classic it just came out like last month for us uh the gypsy should have predicted this the most dignified beverage of days past reimagine from uh for your future self the wooden planks under your feet and the hot dog in your hand yeah <laughs> the only difference is now uh you have a tall you're tall enough to ride the ride uh coney island where anything is possible if you're ready to take the ride uh, what do they call it? Hashtag take the ride. <laughs> I want to call it pound because of the phone. When I was, you call it pound growing up. When this hashtag thing started, I'm like, no, that's, a, that's the pound symbol. <laughs> so old. ConeyIslandBeer.com. They have a website. They got a Facebook. They got a Twitter. They got an Instagram uh, and, and an email and a phone number on here. Deposits. I don't think you really give a shit about the deposits. I could read those off. January of 2016 should be drinking by. According to the Surgeon General, women should not drink alcoholic beverages during pregnancy. Now that clears it all up. So it was okay that I drank the whole time she was pregnant. Good to know. Okay, and before and after. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, birth defects, da 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 da, disease, cancer, gonorrhea. Uh, sex with prostitutes. I don't know. There's a lot of little side effects. I won't go into them. No, those aren't true because I don't want them to sue me. All right, let's try to twist this off. Let's knock it off. Let's see if this makes me feel like, yeah, they're not a twist off. Uh, Coney Island. 
I wish I have, I have never been to Coney Island, so I can't tell you that I know. Ooh, look at that. I love when it just lingers on the top like a, like a, a thin mist. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, it smells a little bit better. Sometimes, especially with sodas, too, it's really strong, that first smell. So uh, my first impression was bad, and now it's good after the second smell. So without further ado, let me give you uh, a sip of this, and we'll see where it goes. Dead homies. All right, it's not an immediate one way or another with this. Uh, oftentimes, uh, you know, you just know right off the bat. I couldn't tell with that right off the bat. I know I made a mess of myself. There's a lot of licorice in it. If you like black licorice, see, I don't want to shit all over it. I don't like licorice, but if you like licorice, you'll probably like this better than the Not Your Father's Root Beer. It's strong though. Um, there's just about as much, if not a little bit more of an alcohol flavor to this one compared to the Not Your Father's Root Beer. Um, not terrible though. I mean, it's not a bad beery flavor. Beery. All right, it's a little bit better as it's going along. All right, this just doesn't do it for me the way that uh, Not Your Father's Root Beer did. It's not bad. Uh, and I'm not going to score it bad. It, it, the first smell was it was a little as strong for me, but it, it faded away quickly. The smell was really good. Yeah, I can confirm that. After a while, it starts to to, to peter off a little bit, I guess. Um, I would rather have a regular root beer than this, if that makes any sense. There's a lot of flavor going on here, though. I will say this is a complex beverage. This isn't a simple man's beverage. This isn't your everyday Joe's beverage. This isn't your run-of-the-mill hard root beer. There's definitely something unique going on within it. Um, it doesn't do wonders for me, but it leaves a different flavor in your mouth as it enters uh, just as much as it does when it leaves. Um, and nothing negative lingers, I'll say that. But there's just nothing dead on about the flavor for me, at least. Um, it's good. It's flavorful. It's tasty. Uh, it would be fine to drink if there was no Not Your Father's Root Beer. Will I finish these? Yes, I will. Uh, will I buy it again? At this point, probably not, unless we do a literal side-by-side -side comparison uh, or have somebody else come on and, and try it with us. Who wants to come on and try it with me? All right. Good times. Good times. Anywho, uh, yeah, I hope you love this. Uh, I'm not a huge fan. They're not terrible. I'm going to pack this up, clean up. I'm sure we got a loot crate coming any day now. Um, I will say this too, though. Root beer is, is such a unique flavor in, in the sense of, it, of its groupings of sub flavors that when it reaches your palate, um, you can't taste much, be taste much beyond it. That's why I'm starting to think like ciders and like lemonades and stuff like that, they're strong flavors that mask the flavor of alcohol. I tell you, every time I sip this, I'm, I'm citrus. Some kind of a citrus in there. Weird, I know, it's crazy. Anywho, yeah. Uh, Root beer must be a very strong flavor to be able to mask the, the flavor of the alcohol because there's less, there's more alcohol in this than there is in beer, and beer is just not a good flavor. You don't see beer flavored things, do you? I'm sure there are out there, out there, but not like root beer. You see root beer flavored things here and there, you know, gum, root beer barrels, whatever. Licorice, too strong for my likings. That citrus is a little bold at the end there, too. Um. Yeah, anywho, Loot Crate should be coming any day. I don't know anything about it this month. I saw a picture of Portal. So I'm assuming it has something to do with Portal or portals to other universes. Anywho, 
If you love and watching Spiritually Challenged or any of the other shows that we do here on the vodcast, uh, please subscribe and pass them along to anybody who you know who might like watching them as well. Follow me on the social media if you'd like. It's always at G-E... It's always at G-E-Y-C-E-N. Um, yeah, out on the Facebook, the Instagrams. Anywho. Anywho. Don't forget to make somebody smile tomorrow. Make yourself a better person tomorrow than you were today. Let's make the world spin a little bit happier together. Let's sing and dance in the sun and in the rain, my brothers and sisters, as one. Live your life to the fullest and love every moment of it because you just never know when the last moment's going to come. However, never live in fear of that moment. Always live in love. Never let your inner child die. It's important. Um, take care of yourselves. Take care of one another and take care of those around you who can't take care of themselves because they are the ones that need it the most. I'm Jason Oliveira. This is Spiritually Challenged and if you liked it, didn't like it, comment, share. That'd be great. You guys have a super duper wonderful night and I'll see you a little bit later this month for the Loot Crate and of course next month for another Spiritually Challenged which... Any suggestions? Any ideas? Put them in the comments below. Uh, if there's a unanimous thing down there, which I'm sure there's just going to be boatloads of them, <laughs> uh, then I'll go with that. If not, then I'm going to come up with it myself. Jerks. Jerk asses. No, you're not jerk asses. You're wonderful people. I'm a terrible person. Anywho, have a great night, and I'll see you guys a little bit further on down the road. Keep it gangsta, y'all. Keep it gangsta. Keep it gangsta, y'all. Keep it gangsta. Keep it gangsta, y'all. Keep it gangsta. I'm sick of these rap niggas lying about they rich. Lying about they bitch. Lying about they